What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Keto Free. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, because it's free. And I'm back with the scary videos, you hear me? So y'all got to spam that like button with my naughty gangs that I need everybody to turn on their post notifications when I react to your music, you know what I'm saying? And everything. Now, if y'all ain't go check out that IRL video, go check out that IRL video. It is currently going up, my nigga. It is going up every single day. You feel me? I appreciate all the love. I'm going to come through with more IRL. Trust me, I promise. Now, today I'm coming at y'all with a true tender date whole story, you mean? You feel me? Now, this is, you know what I'm saying? My boy Cairo, shout out to Cairo, bro. You always hook me up with the scary vids. You know what I'm saying? He always hook me up. Vaughn, y'all love him. You feel me, King? Y'all all love him. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm bringing him back. I'm bringing him back to scary vids, man. I'm back on my regular schedule, man. I love all y'all, man. Uh, I need the notifications on. I need y'all to share this with y'all folks. You feel me? I need y'all to grab their phone, roll to 500. You feel me? We are currently at 420. 420, my nigga. We want all that smoke, big 420, you hear me? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Now, just get into the three true, you know what I'm saying? Horse stories. There's always be some dumb shit, my nigga. Now, y'all niggas be making bad decisions on these horse stories. There's no way in, there's no way possible that these horse stories are for black people. Like, like it's no way possible that, 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 that the character in the story is black. Because I swear to God, my nigga, I would have saved half of these niggas in this bitch. Sup? And I ain't no hero, my nigga. Thanks to Shudder for sponsoring this video. More details at the- yeah, that. This happened when I was 17 years old. It's been nearly two years since my girlfriend broke up with me, and I was very chewed up about it on the inside. I've called her several times, but it always went to voicemail. Shit. I've tried texting her on Messenger since, ironically, we were friends on Facebook. But still, not a single response. As the weeks went by, I became very devastated and was worried that I'd never find love again. Been ten and five. My brother told me to just forget about my ex-girlfriend and that it was time for me to move on. He introduced me to this app called Tinder, which he said was great for online dating. I was very familiar with online dating, but never actually done any of it because there was no way that I even felt like hooking up with some random person I met online. I swear to God, bro. It's always the brothers, bro. It's always the brothers that's doing some shit. Always some brothers that getting you in some shit. Like, I can't make this up, my nigga. It's always the brothers, my nigga. The brothers. The happy and they seem good and they're good. It's always the brothers, my nigga. Like, real shit. I can't make this shit up. But I figured it couldn't hurt to try it out, so... I decided to give it a shot. After I finished setting up my account and was done creating my profile, I just started randomly liking a few of the girls that I thought were pretty. I'm not picky. I just wanted to- And me, bro, I, I, bro, see, that's what I'm saying. I can never do Tinder. Never. In my life. Bro, I'm not finna swipe on no random female, my nigga. I don't know what she got. There's a whole bunch of stuff going out nowadays. You could have, I don't know. You can have something I don't want. I'm not doing no Tinder, my nigga. You feel me? If it's not face-to-face -face or if, you know what I'm if I don't know you, I'm not meeting up with you. We're not doing no texting on no social media app if I don't know you. I'm just keeping a buck fifty with you. Call me bougie. Call me what you want. If I don't know you, I'm not texting you back. It's that simple, my nigga. I only text my gangers back and I text the girls that I know, my nigga. It's simple, my nigga. My gang. My NLZ squad. To make sure that I found the right girl for me. A few weeks later, I've had already received my first match on Tinder. Her name was Robin. She had blue hair, freckles, and beautiful amethyst purple lips. According to her profile, she had the same interest in the stuff I was into, and was even around the same age as me. Even better, she lived in the same town as me. Awesome. By the way, I awesome. live in awesome. Memphis, awesome. Tennessee. We started having a friendly group chat on Tinder, which was going well. Her message said, You may not know me, but we went to the same high school. I replied, Are you sure? She said, Yeah, I was always the quiet one at the back of class. Anyways, I think you're really cute. We should hang out sometime. I, ain't gonna lie. I agreed and asked her to where she wanted to hang out, where to meet her, and what time I should be there. My nigga, you didn't ask for her name or none of that, my nigga? You, you gotta ask for the social security number. You gotta ask for everything before you meet up with a bit. You cannot meet up with a bit without asking for the social security number. I'm just keeping it a buck fifty with you, my nigga. Cars is in your hands. 
Did you at least FaceTime her to, to see if she real? You can't just go off a of text, my nigga. She talking about she was the quiet kid in the back of the class. She's quiet for a reason. Something ain't right. It ain't. There's something about this tender we don't know about. She said we'd hang out at her place and meet her at the park tomorrow night at around 9 p.m. I accepted. I got to the park that night at around 9 p.m. sharp. I didn't call her because I didn't want to sound too desperate. Some time passed and I finally decided to call her to no response. Yeah, I also tried know. texting her to no know. avail as well. It was around 9.30 p.m. There was still no sign of her and I was beginning to grow impatient. I was starting to think that maybe she wasn't going to show up at all. I sighed and said, I knew this was too good to be true. She's not even here yet. <sighs> Screw it. I'm going home. I can't believe I came out here this late for nothing. Oh well, yeah, cool, so much for online dating. I was about to start my walk home when suddenly I saw a black convertible pull up to my location. The fuck they be doing with a beard? That ain't no bitch. I would have. On me, but y'all would have heard feet smacking and everything. The car stopped right in front of me, and the window rolled He's down, it. revealing a creepy looking old man who was probably in his mid 30s. He gazed at me with a weird smile and asked, going, man, get the fuck You going man. somewhere, kid? Yeah, 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 I yeah, nigga, I am. I, yeah, I'm just heading. Why you stop and talk, my nigga, Red? I'm telling y'all niggas. Bit home. My nigga, get he the fuck home. He asked me why I was out there this late and told him that I was supposed to meet someone, but it seemed like she wasn't going to show up. He said, Yeah, you telling all your oh, business. Oh, you must you be doing? waiting for my daughter. Hey, the daughter. man by the name of Jeff introduced himself to me as Robin's father and hey, said daughter. that Robin has told him a lot about me. He told me that Robin couldn't meet me at the park because she remembered that was the night she had to go to a slumber party hey, with bro, her friends. Hey, bro, get the fuck out of there, she bro. She forgot to cancel. Like, what the fuck you mean, your daughter, my nigga? You weird-ass, creep-ass nigga. And then you talking about some... She canceled. The f But she wasn't answering no call. Hey, man, I don't know what kind of fruity shit you on, my nigga. But, hey, I ain't the one, my nigga. I ain't ready to back your ass up, nigga. I'm telling you, because if I would've went out... Hey. He told me she wouldn't be home till 11 o'clock. And that's when I knew my night was a bust. He apologized and offered to give me a ride home. Fuck no. I knew Fuck it no. was going to take too long for me to walk, so I accepted. Are you it was going to be a long drive, but luckily I knew all the shortcuts you to my get house. Got my nigga? I told him where I lived and how to get there as I got into the car. This nigga, but it's over After a few minutes, I was feeling tired You're from being out so late. You're done. So I closed my eyes You're done. for just You're done. a few short seconds and dozed off. And then you Not went to long sleep. afterward, I awoke. Feeling a little drowsy, I rubbed my eyes and oh, realized that no. I was still in the car. I asked the man where we were, as this wasn't the usual route to my house. Oh, fuck. He no. said, relax, kid. Ben 10, you green as fuck, my nigga. You green as hell, my nigga. The fuck is you doing, my nigga? You in a random nigga car going to sleep? This is a shortcut. We're almost there. I asked where we were going, How the hell was and it then he looked cut? at me with some you know sinister I grin on his face and How you just know I chuckled. Live? I felt my heart almost explode out of my chest as he did that. I looked down and saw a handgun sticking out of his jacket pocket. I put two and two together and realized what was happening. Yeah, I told him, been let for me handgun. out now. He responded, no. Then. He put his foot on the accelerator, speeding up the car. I tried to get out, but he had already put the job lock on. It seemed hopeless. I was trapped. There was no way out. To make matters worse, we were driving through a forest area with no cell service. Weird, I couldn't even call nigga. for you're, help. You're, you're done. But I just had you're to done. get out. As soon as the car started to slow down, I stabbed him in his shoulder with a pocket knife that I found on the floor. He screamed in pain oh, as I was able to turn off the child lock, unlock the door, and run as fast as I could into the woods. While I was running, 
I could hear multiple gunshots being fired at me. Oh, fuck But luckily, no. not a single one hit me. Oh, fuck no, my nigga. I never looked back, because I had the fear of the man chasing me at the back of my mind. I dove behind a tree and hid under a bush. I heard the man yelling. You can't hide from me! I will find you! I covered my mouth with my hands and held my breath, trying not to make a sound. Bro, I would beat Everything that man was ass. silent for a while, him, until I saw the man was looking for me with a flashlight. He flashed it past me multiple times. Better yet, you're bent in, bro. You can't, you can't transform, my nigga. To speedy, my nigga. Get the fuck out of there, my nigga. You got the swole foot. May man. Well, 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 watch it, my nigga. When I heard his footsteps going lacking. deeper into the woods, that's when I knew the coast was clear. I ran, using the flashlight on my phone to help navigate me through the dark and scary woods. In hindsight, I knew that was a stupid move, considering the situation. I could hear the leaves crunching and the twigs snapping as I ran, which would also easily give away my position. When the crunching and snapping got louder, I looked behind me and my heart dropped when I saw that the man was chasing me. I ran as fast as I could with the man hot on my tail, firing every single last live round he had in his gun, but thankfully the shots missed again. There's nowhere for you to hide, this got he a said. Mag in it, bitch? I thought I was going to die, until I heard the man trip over something, and I was able to get away unharmed. I kept running until I was out of the woods and back onto the road. Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be seen, which means I lost him. I sighed in relief, and then I saw a red car driving down the road. I was able to wave it down and told the driver that I was kidnapped and almost killed by some crazy man. Bro, you wasn't kidnapped, my guy. You volunteered to get in a fucking car. What do you mean you're kidnapped? You volunteered to get in a car and you fell asleep in his man's car. This nigga didn't force you to get in the car, my nigga. You wasn't kidnapped, nigga. You wasn't held a... Uh, Bro, you wasn't held against your wishes, my nigga. Everything that you did leading up to that was voluntarily, my nigga. There's no fucking way possible I would have accepted a ride for that nigga. You weird ass nigga. In the woods. It took a lot of begging, but the driver finally gave me a ride to the police station, and I told the cops everything. Unfortunately, I didn't get the man's tag number, but I gave the police a clear description. After the police had run a search, they told me that he didn't even have a daughter, and that they'd been trying to catch this guy for months. Oh. As it turns out, he's wanted in several countries for the kidnappings of multiple teenagers and young men. How I oh. managed to escape him is a miracle. The officers kindly gave me a ride home and I didn't tell anyone what happened except my brother. The man was never found, nor was he ever caught, and they say he's still out there, even to this day, which scares me the most. What's even worse is that I stupidly gave him my address, so who knows if he might try to kidnap me again. Needless to say, my days of using Tinder weren't over after that. The whole incident just made me a lot more cautious from there on out. Get yeah, that would have got deleted, my boy. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, that app would have got Hall of Family deleted. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. That shit would have got deleted, bro. I ain't no fucking way I'm keeping that app, man. There's light in my eyes, shit. That shit fucking with me and shit, man. If y'all new to the stream, I mean, if y'all new to the channel, I'm saying stream like I'm on live stream, bro. If y'all new to the channel, man, make sure y'all subscribe, bro. Make sure y'all turn on the notifications. My nigga, I'm funny as hell. Y'all gonna love it here. Turn on the notifications for real, for real. Shit, but keep it free. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, because it's free. Turn on the notifications if you love me. I'm out, bro.